Welcome to the Avaya Ace Web Services Trainer Video Guide, Part 1, Getting Started. Video 1A, Introducing, Installing and Configuring the Trainer. This video guide acts not only as an installation, configuration and user guide for the Avaya Ace Web Services Trainer, but can additionally be viewed in its own right to learn about the key real-time communications capabilities provided by Avaya Aura and made available to developers via the Avaya Agile Communication Environment Web Services. The guide is in seven parts. Part 1, Getting Started, comprises two videos. This video, Part 1A, introduces the Avaya Ace Web Services Trainer, what it is and does, and what you need to run it. There is a demonstration of how to install and configure the trainer, plus a tour of the trainer's user interface and its help features. Part 1B provides essential background information about Avaya Aura service providers that you'll need to fully understand how the trainer works. The remaining six parts of the guide comprise detailed demonstrations and explanations of real-time communications capabilities that you can exercise and explore using the Avaya Ace Web Services Trainer. To get the most out of this video guide and the Avaya Ace Web Services Trainer, it's desirable that you have a basic understanding of Avaya Ace and its web services, Avaya Aura, including Session Manager, Communication Manager and supported deployment configurations, the development of client applications that access SOAP-based web service interfaces, and of the SIP and TR87 communication protocols. If you don't have this background knowledge, a good place to start acquiring it is from the DevConnect ebook called Mastering Communications Enablement with Avaya Ace Web Services, which DevConnect members can download free of charge from the DevConnect portal. The Avaya Ace Web Services Trainer, which henceforth I'll refer to as the Trainer for short, is a developer training and demonstration tool created by Avaya DevConnect. The trainer is a thick client of the Avaya Ace Web Services with a user-friendly Java Swing interface designed to make it easy for users to exercise and explore the real-time communications capabilities available in Avaya Aura environments. The primary purpose of the Avaya Ace Web Services trainer is to teach developers about the real-time communications capabilities enabled by the Avaya Ace Web Services and to help them use those capabilities in their own solutions. The trainer achieves this by providing intuitive controls and other features that allow you to exercise the web services and view the resulting SOAP requests and responses. In addition, you can learn more by inspecting the trainer's logs and source code and even reuse parts of the source code in your own solutions by, for example, importing the trainer into an Eclipse Java project and copying and pasting code snippets. To run the Avaya Ace Web Services Trainer in your own environment, you need three things. Access to an Avaya Ace Aura configuration, at least three endpoint devices, and the trainer itself. If you're lucky, you may already have access to an in-house Avaya Ace Aura configuration, but if not, you can purchase a developer configuration from DevConnect, or, as in this video guide, use the DevConnect Avaya Ace Web Services with Avaya Aura Remote Lab. The Remote Lab is available on demand and at no cost to DevConnect members for periods of three months at a time. If you want to use the Remote Lab, download the instruction manual from the DevConnect portal and submit an online access request form. When your request is accepted, you will be sent the login credentials, IP addresses and other information you need. You also need at least three endpoint devices in your environment registered with Avaya Aura. These can be, for example, Avaya One X desk phones if you have them, or you can download the One X Communicator soft phone from the Avaya support site, or, as in this video guide, use separate instances of the One X SIP desk phone emulator which you can download from the DevConnect portal. Finally, you need to install the Avaya Ace Web Services Trainer on your development machine.
the Avala Ace Web Services Trainer is distributed as a zip file, available as a free download to all DevConnect members from the DevConnect portal. Go to the URL shown and log in. The download link is located on the main Avaya Agile Communication Environment page, which you can access via the Products and SDKs index. Download the zip and extract it to a suitable location on your development machine. To start the trainer, simply run the acewstrainer.exe file. The trainer starts as shown. Beneath the trainer, notice that I have also started three instances of the Avaya 1x SIP desk phone emulator, registered with Session Manager in the remote lab, and logged into extensions 20081, 20082, and 20083. To keep things simple, I'll refer to these as extensions 81, 82, and 83 throughout the rest of this video guide. You can get instructions on how to download, install, and register multiple instances of the emulator from the IP Desk Phones page on the DevConnect portal. Before you can use the trainer, you need to configure it to communicate with the via ACE, in this case, with the instance in the remote lab. Select Setup ACE from the main menu bar to open the ACE settings dialog, enter the IP address of the via ACE server and your login credentials for accessing the ACE web services. The default domain and interface name are what we want, so click Save to save the settings and then restart the trainer to apply them. To check that the trainer has been configured correctly, I'll use it to initiate a third-party call from extension 81 to extension 82. And there, you can see and hear that phones are ringing, so all is well. Whilst I have the trainer running, I'll show you how it is laid out. Notice that on the left hand side, there are a series of tabs corresponding to the Avaya ACE web services that you can exercise. The third party call control tab, which currently has focus, enables you to explore both versions of the third party call control web service, as well as the third party call extensions web service. The other tabs are used to exercise the call notification, presence, audio call, and message drop and blast web services, respectively. The right-hand side of the user interface comprises the Active Call Sessions control, which lists the unique call IDs of all active calls initiated by the trainer. The Call Participants control, which displays the status of all participants in active calls when using the Get Call Session Information operation, and the SOAP Messages control, which shows the content of all requests and responses exchanged between the trainer and the Avaya ACE web services. You can get more detailed information about how request and response messages were processed, and possibly what went wrong if you get errors, by looking at the trainer's log file. To view the log, select Help View Logs from the main menu. To help you use the trainer, notice that when I move my mouse over a control such as the Hold button, mandatory fields are highlighted in yellow. In this case, to put a call participant on hold, I have to select an active call from the Active Call Sessions control and enter the participant's extension in the Endpoint field. Notice also that a tooltip is displayed providing information about the web service operation that will be invoked when I click the button. If you want more detailed information about web service operations, including their arguments, responses and error messages, I suggest you keep a copy of the Avaya ACE Web Services Guide by your side when using the trainer. You can download a copy of the guide from the DevConnect portal. As you saw during that brief tour, the trainer allows you to exercise the web services listed on the left hand side of this slide. Virace provides a number of other web services that, for different reasons, are not available via the trainer. These are listed on the right. Call History 
and terminal location are not supported by the Avaya Aura service providers. The other four web services listed are supported in Avaya Aura environments, but do not relate to real-time communications. If you want to know more about these web services, take a look at the Avaya ACE web services guide. That ends part 1a of this video guide. Watch part 1b to learn about the significance of the Avaya Aura SIP and TR87 service providers.